Well, we knew it was coming sooner or later. Finally got snow out here. Look at that. Golly, man, look at all that snow. They better be throwing on some peak pay. I know that, but it's all good. I got my first order already. 11.50 for four miles. We got, what's that, Panda Express and uh, Panera. Let's go ahead and get that one done. Hopefully it's something extra hidden on them. Gotta make sure you be extra careful in these road conditions. It's very, very dangerous. Make sure you're driving below the speed limit. No need to rush in the snow. Make sure you get where you're trying to go. Hello, how DoorDash's algorithm categorizes dog food as a catering order. So, got my next order. $13 for three miles right here at PetSmart. Let's see if they got this one ready. Oh, that's snow. I got paid $13 to deliver that dog. Actually, the total came out $15.49. It was three miles away. This is why I love the gig. I give them a lot of flack. You know, I talk about DoorDash suck. Talk about I don't like this, I don't like that. I just made about $25 in 20 minutes because it's snowing and people is lazy and they got the money to order this stuff and I got the time to bring it. This is why I love the gig app. Be your own boss, work for yourself. And one of the things that we talk about is betting on yourself. Using these gig apps, I'm able to bet on myself. What are you doing to bet on you? Be selective. You see that? That offer originally came in at 17 bucks for eight miles. No, yeah, 17 bucks. It's a $2 peak. That means that's a $15 order for eight miles. Well, I say, you know what? That's a 16 mile round trip. I don't want, because that's not, you know, in the snow, I, I, don't, I don't want. So I declined it, ended my dash, started it back up. It came back to it's 21 and some change. Let's go all day. That's how you dad. Don't let DoorDash, the topic of today's video, be select. Cause now by being selective, they showed me five more dollars on this order. Now I can accept the face value of this order. 21 something for eight miles all day. Hey, let's go. And they both was ready to go. I'm the fastest dash alive. Stop playing with me. You ain't never seen nobody drop off Panera so fast in the snow. Look at this. Man, I'm making money in the snow. I like this. I'm gonna have to uh, make sure I come out every time it starts snowing. We are an hour and a half in and we are at $49.14. Can you believe it? Well, you know what? It's not very surprising because when it's snow or when it's any kind of weather, inclement weather out here, the orders go up and the tips get higher. Less drivers, more orders. It's a recipe for making more money. So we're gonna head in and eat some lunch real quick since it's uh, one o'clock now. And then we're gonna step back out for the lunch shift, or as I should say, dinner shift. Two hours later. Yes, sir, we back. What time is it? It is four o'clock. I got a batch on Walmart Spark already. We got $22.52 for five miles. Let's get it. I'm about to head over there now. And I'm, I'm multi-apping all the way. Might just pick up a DoorDash. Might just do an Uber. Might just do a DoorDash. Might just make all the cash. Stop playing with me. I'm the fastest dash alive. Got a shopping pay order. $8.25 for four miles. So that's perfect. And it's, and it's taking me in the direction of the Walmart for my Walmart Spark order. So that's going to be a $30 hour right there. Multi-apping, stacking these two orders together. Let's get it. We need all available associates up front. Yes, sir. Just got my next order of the evening. We're going to take this little 675 five item Little Caesar order right here. I'm right here by Little Caesar, so hopefully I can get a spark order right after this. Look at that map. Nice and red. I'm cherry picking for a catering order. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting for that, I got my next order right here on Walmart Spark. As soon as they go ahead and bring it out, we got $13.50 for one mile. Can't ask for a better order than that. So I'm gonna get this one done and hopefully I can multi app and give me something on, on DoorDash. It's snowing, it's nighttime. I'm pretty sure it's a catering order out there waiting for me. I just need to find it. For the evening, we got $7.50 for what it say, what? Two miles, but it's not really because if you look at that map, it's literally going like right next door. Probably the apartments Maybe right next. Probably the apartments right next to the restaurant or something like that. But it's really, really close drop off. Let's go ahead and get this one done. Here eating my dinner. I got me some teriyaki madness. Got me yes, one of them sir. good old teriyaki bowls. Just got an offer. Look at this. 975 for 6.3 miles, seven items. It ain't a bad offer, but I'm good. I got something better. Eleven dollars five miles on Uber Eats. A Panera order. Way better. Guaranteed that order gonna be ready. That Buffalo Wild Wings, they got they busy up in there right now. It's nighttime, so you gotta realize. And if it's people up at the bar, they prioritizing them. So I'm gonna go ahead and prioritize myself on order Panera and get this money. Back to my zone. I was a little bit out of my zone with this order. So I was like the first decent order that I see that's bringing me back. 
Nice miles from any race car I'm gonna take. And even with the dollar peak, that's what, $8, $8 for probably like two miles. Probably a hidden tip on that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one picked up. Making money out here in this snow, man. People do not wanna go get their food when it's snowing. Looks like we got to add on an additional eight bucks for four miles. I think we might have two peak pays running at the same time right now, but they might have a couple orders in their ready list. Tonight? No, I'm in and out. It's all good. <laughs> Have a good one. Grubhub trying to come through with a banger. Look at this. We got 2138 for 6.6 .6 miles on Grubhub. And both pickups is at one spot. My favorite spot, Teriyaki Madness. Let's go ahead and slide. I know they got it ready. See if we can stack it with anything going in that same direction. Nope, not on DoorDash. That's going to, that's going north up the highway. I ain't going, I'm I'm going to the west, man. If I if I had anything else I could stack with this, this is just make this even better because this order by itself is guaranteeing me twenty dollars an hour. Right there. Anything else I can stack with it, that's gonna be a, a fire hour. That's how you maximize, that's how I do it, that's how I treat each and every one of my hours. Where can I make my 20 bucks at? And then what else can I put on top of that? What's that, 450 for eight miles? Stop playing with me, no. And just like that, just got a $10 eight mile Qdoba order. Let's get it done. I'm finna stack this Qdoba order with these Grubhub orders I got. Now that's gonna be $30 for one hour. Let's get it. This Qdoba, I love it because they got that drive through action. Let's go. The events of the movie take place. Loki, Sylvie, Mobius, the others. The GoPro, TVA turn off. Already GoPro, turn off. 250 for 6.3 miles. No, sir. Alrighty, so, so far we've made 21.38 on Grubhub. $11.04 with Uber, $104.55 with DoorDash, cause you know you get you, you get the most orders with DoorDash. And on Walmart Spark, $47 and what's that? 82 cents, $47.82 on Walmart Spark. And that my friends brings our total to $184.79. And we did that on four and a half hours of work. Four and a half hours. So if we take $184.79, we divide that by four hours of work. That's $46 an hour. Almost 40, almost 46.25, that's 46.19 an hour. Let's go. Now, it ain't like this every single night, but it's snowing, you see. Look, it's still snowing on the ground. I'm still getting orders. Look, orders on Uber. I'm getting orders on Spark and DoorDash. Like, it's money to be made, so you gotta maximize. Dash your way. I dash along the way my way. I, I, I multi-app, I stack orders together. We gonna see what else we get, but that's what we look, that's our totals for right now. Well, I thought I was done. Got another little spark, 26.26 for 6.8 miles. And I had to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and check in. They've been popping with these Walmart Sparks, man. I didn't, this is my first time ever getting them in the snow. And I mean, man, in the snow, you get even more off. And I'm pretty sure the people who've been out here, they probably getting way more offers than me. Yeah, hey, I got Allen. Yeah, I, I changed my parking spot. I got Allen. Y'all been busy today, huh? Which okay? I got, uh, yep. Yep. Okay. It looks yep. like it's not prepped yet, so it's still in the back room. What? It says it's ready. No, I'm just playing. Yeah. It's good. So they should be getting it ready. It's right all now. good, bro. Like it's all months. good. November 30th through December 2nd, qualifying trips do additional 12 trips. Do 12 trips earn an additional 36 bucks. Do 18 trips earn an additional 72 bucks. So, alrighty. So we are done for the day. So we did exceptionally well today in the snow. I ended up doing a total of $111, nope, $117.50 on DoorDash. I did a total of $19.70 something cents on Uber. Grubhub, I did $21.23. And on Walmart Spark, I got, I had $32.80. Then I did my last Spark order, which is $26.26. All of that together is $217.60. And look at her on my DoorDash app. I turn my DoorDash app on as soon as I leave and it's the last one I turn off. My active time on DoorDash is four hours and 30 minutes. So I made $217 in four hours and 30 minutes. So if we take that and we divide it by 4.5, that's $48 an hour and 33 cents. Let's go. If you wanna make sure you maximizing and earning money like this, hit that like, hit that subscribe.